everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal plan episode. In this episode, each week I share my meal plan for my family for the upcoming week. I just think meal planning is really important for a lot of reasons, saving money, wasting less food, and reducing stress and trying to figure out what's for dinner. So this meal plan is just for dinners. I do rotate my meals on a regular basis, so you're not always gonna get a whole lot of new recipes. Um, I do try and throw in some new things every once in a while, um, but I just, my main, um, priority is keeping it simple. You can find um, a blog version of this meal plan each week, the same day the episode comes out at lolasfrugallife.com, and I have links to any recipes that are mentioned in the episode um, in that blog post. So this week's meal plan starts on um, Saturday, sorry, Saturday, February 19th. So this Saturday I am doing pork chops for the slow cooker, which is from allrecipes.com. Now, I can't remember if I've made these before. Um, if I have, it's been a really long time, um, but it seemed like it was a pretty simple recipe. It's like a, you put boneless pork chops in the crock pot with some brown sugar and soy sauce and ketchup and honey, and um, you cook them for about six hours. Um, so I'm making that, and then I'm also trying out a new recipe called Steakhouse Potatoes Romanoff, which is from allrecipes.com. Um, this is kind of like where you cook the potatoes and then you shred them and then you mix them with like, I think it was like, um, cheddar cheese and, uh, let's see what else was in there. Sour cream, I think I, I forget, but it's like a potato side dish and it looked really good. It's kind of like a, where you cook the potatoes and you shred them and then you make type sort of like a casserole type dish out of them. And then with that, I'm gonna also be doing air fryer Brussels, Brussels sprouts, which is also from allrecipes.com. For Sunday, I'm gonna be doing baked chicken nuggets, which is also from allrecipes.com. I do get a lot of recipes from there. Um, and this is just a really simple way to make um, chicken nuggets where you basically just um, coat them in butter and then toss them in some breadcrumbs and then just bake them on a baking sheet. And then I'm also gonna be doing um, Pennsylvania Dutch corn pie, which is also from allrecipes.com. Um, this actually does have hard uh, boiled eggs in it, but I've never actually made it like that. That's just one ingredient I always skip, so I'm not sure. That probably would taste fine, but I've just never actually done it that way. I do it like the lazier version. Um, but if you have eggs, you know, you might wanna throw those in there. But this is basically just like a, a pie that has like um, corn and potatoes, and it's got like a pie crust on top. So that's what we're doing for Sunday. For Monday, we're doing hot dogs. We do these once a month or every four weeks. Um, so pretty much I just make some hot dogs. I make some um, air fried potatoes. Um, like I take uh, potatoes and peppers and onions and I just dice them up and then I cook them in the air fryer. You could do them in the oven, of course, obviously too. Um, but what I do is then we put them on the hot dogs to make like an Italian hot dog um, with that. And then I'll also do a bagged salad and a can of vegetarian chili because one of my daughters doesn't eat meat. So she'll just do like a hot dog bun with the potatoes and the vegetarian chili and then she'll have some of the salad. For Tuesday, I always do um, a Mexican theme meal. So this week we're doing sheet pan chicken fajitas, which is from foodnetwork.com. It's just your typical um, fajita meal, uh, chicken fajita, you know, it's got the chicken strips, not chicken strips, but chicken like cut into strips, uh, peppers and onions and some seasonings, and then you just bake it all together on a sheet pan, and then I just serve it with like the flour tortillas, and I'll put out like some shredded cheddar cheese, some sour cream, that type of thing. Wednesdays, I usually do a seafood meal, so this week we're doing baked salmon. Um, I buy the frozen salmon fillets and then all I do is just brush them with a little olive oil and then season them with the McCormick um, smokehouse maple seasoning and I bake them at 450 degrees for like 12 minutes and they come out perfect. I'm also going to be making some buttered egg noodles with that and then just some frozen vegetables whatever I happen to have on hand. I always usually keep like those steam fresh type in the freezer. Um, Thursdays, we usually do soup and grilled cheese or breakfast for dinner because that's the night I go food shopping, so I try and keep the meal prep really quick and easy. So this Thursday, we're going to be doing Instant Pot Split Pea Soup. Um, if you've ever made split pea soup, you know it takes a long time to cook the split peas, but they come, they get cooked um, really quickly in the Instant Pot. And that recipe comes out really good, and it's really simple. You just throw it in there and just wait for it to cook. Um, I'm also going to be doing grilled cheese sandwiches on the side with that. 
So for um, the last meal of the week, I'm gonna be doing um, creamy herbed pork chops, which for this recipe, I don't actually do um, the cream sauce. I just use this kind of like as a placeholder um, for my meal, which for, for this one, what I always do is I just take the bone-in pork chops, as it says in the recipe, and I season them with um, Montreal steak seasoning. And then I fry them in the frying pan with butter and they come out so good, like just the flavoring of the pork chops with the um, with the, the butter, like sauteed in the butter and the Montreal steak seasoning, they come out really great. And then for a side dish with that, I'm gonna do a quick veggie pasta. <clears throat> so it's kind of like the veggies and the pasta all in one. Um, it's really uh, pretty simple to make. It uses linguine, mushrooms, um, grape tomatoes, fresh spinach, olive oil, that type of thing. Um, and it's just, it's a good, really good side dish because it's got a bunch of vegetables in it and the pasta and the olive oil, it just tastes really good. And I think that'll go really well with the pork chops. So that's it for this week's meal plan. I hope this was helpful to you in some way. Um, don't forget, you can email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And as I mentioned before, um, you can find a blog post for this meal plan every week with the links to the recipes. And then there's also a blog post for each of my regular um, episodes, topic-based episodes, which come out on Mondays. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would really love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I can see you're listening. Also, if you can take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, that would be really helpful to me. That is what helps the show get found by other potential listeners. Also, if you're interested, there is a link to financially support the podcast in the show notes. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.